Hi. I hope you had a great day today. And you will have a great week. A great week. In the Lord. Tonight I want to talk about 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 anger and I want to go into the book of Ephesians 4 and 26. Now, the word does not say that it, it is a a sin to be angry. It is not a sin to, to be angry. However, it is a sin to act to act upon that anger. And I am guilty of that, I, I say, I say that most of you are guilty of that. The question, the question is, how do you deal with your anger, how do you, how do, do you deal with your anger? Do you lash out? Do you, do you yell and, and scream? I have been there, and I am stepping on my toes tonight. Let's read in the book of, of Ephesians 4 and 26. It says, Be ye angry, and sin not. Let not, let not the sun go down upon your, your wrath. It is so easy, it is so easy to act upon your anger, your anger, because the enemy, which is Satan, 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 he wants us to act upon our anger. He wants us to sin. That is his purpose. Is to teach us into sin. But Jesus Christ was the ultimate example. Jesus Christ got angry at, at people. He got angry at his own 
you samples. And he got, he got angry because the uh, soldiers took, took him and beat him and nailed him up on a cross. But what did he do? What did Lord Jesus Christ do? He said, Father, forgive him. Father, forgive them. Forgive who? Forgive us. For they know not what they do. You see, we need we need to, to follow his example. We need to, to follow his example. It's not easy. It's not easy. I'm not saying that it is easy. But it is possible. You see, when we give, when we, when we say, when we, when we see, it, we give. The devil, what he know, what he wants. It says in verse 27, it says, give no place to the devil. Give no place. The devil. I heard a question. Somebody asked if Jesus ever got in trouble. When he was a kid, and the answer to that is found in the book of, of Isaiah chapter 7. It says in verse 14. Therefore, therefore, the Lord Himself should give, give you a son. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. You shall call his name. If very well, it says in verse 15, butter and honey shall he eat, that, that he may know to refuse evil and choose the good. For <laughs> before the child 
before the child said no to refuse the evil and choose the good. The land that now a forest shall be for, forsaken of both of her kings. It says that Jesus, Jesus as a boy grew up without sin. He grew up with, without sin. It does not mean that he did not have temptation. It does not mean that he didn't get angry, but he did not act of all his anger. And I pray God that he, that, that he would help me to become more like him. I pray that he would, he would give me more patience. And I pray that he would always be But by my side, when I get angry, when I get angry, his, his name, his name, Emmanuel means God is with us. God is with us. In, in the book of Hebrews 13 and 5, it says that he will never Leave nor forsake, forsake you or me. So this time, this time that you feel like lashing out at someone. Remember, God is there with you. Take it to Him in prayer. Take it to Him. Give God all of your problems. And he, and he will give you peace. And I hope that you got something out of this night. And I pray God fill up you people who are watching this, who are listening to this. Fill up your people with love, with 
Thank you. 